Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Sog Nice and Tools Multi-Tooled uh, Power Duo. This is just a plain silver variation. They make more uh, variation of that item too. As we look at the boxing first, it's a pretty big box. Uh, Sog Knives and Tools, we see on top 11 tools uh, combined. Uh, we have the name on it, Power Duo the grip with compound leverage gear, the combination multi-tool and folding knife, lifetime warranty and industrial whatever that gonna gonna help. Uh, we have the 6.2 inches length and it has the compound leverage 6.3 ounces. On the back side we see a bit more information we have the pliers, the hard wire cutter the gripper part of the pliers, uh, then the tweezer and toothpick, uh, the folding uh, blade, one hand opener blade with a lock back kind of kind of lock. We have the small screwdriver and the can opener. The small screwdriver is uh, not useful at all in the shape as it is for now. Uh, then we have the large screwdriver and the bottle opener. On top we have the Phillips screwdriver. A uh, typical uh, Chinese uh, design of the Phillips screwdriver there. Uh, the specifications there, the Power Duo is a hybrid between knife and a tool. That was what uh, was most interesting for me to see and to test that out. Uh, this item is made in China, uh, regular Chinese uh, blade steel they use and finishes sata they make a bit other other uh, variation as well and the handle is polycarbonate. The insert of the box as we see it comes with a sheet and the plier would be there take the, the sheet out. The sheet is a nylon deal with uh, velcro. At least it's a pretty big flap uh, velcro. Uh, we have a bit of elastic on the side in two portions here and on the other side as well. Uh, we have a belt clip on the back side that works out pretty well. On top is a loop as well. So the, the sheet, the belt sheet makes a pretty good impression for what it is. Still for a, a item like that I would like to have a, a pocket clip on it. So uh, let's go straight to the worst part of that item. Uh, this is actually the second one that I got and both of them uh, had uh, broken uh, scales or grips. Uh, apparently that Lexon is or that material what they use here uh, is not uh, too well of a, of a quality at all so this item here gonna go back again and I will try a third time maybe this time I get an item that doesn't have cracks in the, the handle material. Uh, for the camera it's maybe a bit hard to pick up we have cracks here, here uh, here we have a big crack and uh, also here uh, basically where the, the screws are we have a crack the material so uh, that is not acceptable or working on the other side we have a crack over here and I think on this side it is like that no here we have maybe a bit something too. I did not remove the, the grips, the scales on the on the uh, item because they are cracked, they don't fall apart and this one is actually in a better shape than the first one. The first one I did not even take out of the box because you saw uh, right through the, the plastic uh, the, the cracks already. So the material that they use uh, quite likely is not working for such an application. Either that or they did uh, have a rough shipment over over uh, from China so that many of those uh, uh, scales uh, break or, or are cracked. 
so have a look if you buy such an item that you get one uh, minimum from start without cracks uh, because uh, once the thing is cracked uh, that is tough to replace I did think about making a G10 grips for it quick uh, that back side here would be pretty easy to make other than the, the slots for the small insert tools but the front uh, scale has some cutouts and is quite likely relatively thin with that riveted part here so that's not too easy to do and I wanna simply only test out the design how well that works for me so I need to start with a with a item that is not cracked so that much about the, the worst part of that item otherwise I like it pretty much uh, the screws on the privet needed adjustment that was not too well done from start uh, the item is for sure made in China we see that on uh, some of the details that simply are not too well made but it's a it's a tool it's not a collectible so that should work uh, we have on the knife side that one hand opening blade unfortunately with a slight recurve on the back so that will make resharpening a bit harder I will uh, grind that edge that part of the edge here off so we have a true straight edge and finish uh, the blade is hollow grinded so that works well it's okay sharp as it comes out of the box nothing special and sure get a more sharp if you use a correct sharpener it has a lock back uh, design here we have that part here that simply you can press down and that lifts the rocker and uh, you can unlock the part like that so that works too it's a bit on the tiny side but at least it's not gonna unlock by itself uh, liner lock part could have be easy added with the liner here would have be quite likely a better solution than this but that is what came with it also the blade is relative uh, uh, yeah it could be a couple millimeter longer longer with the with the tip there but it works and uh, we can one hand open it but only with two hands at least i can't do it with one hand close it because we need to press in that part here and that's relative stiff even after oil and put it back down then we have in this four layer uh, Swiss Army knife like uh, part here uh, those uh, three parts here you can lift each one out separately of course uh, we're gonna start with the back part we swing that out and then it locks uh, the lock has quite a, a bit of a play and to unlock we have that sliding part here that lifts uh, that is that locking part here that lock down as we push that forward that manual is gonna lift that part there to unlock so that the, the item can be uh, put down again the can opener feature works pretty well the tiny screwdriver or small screwdriver there not that item got stonewashed too hard it's rounded off so that needs a re-grind blade shape there that that works it's like this it's not gonna work at all too well then the second part has that nail nick here that completely through cutted nick uh, we have a flat head screwdriver a bit a bigger variation that one works okay well in the configuration that it is then we have the regular uh, bottle opener uh, no problem there at all that part also locks as all the three parts we can unlock that and then we have the last part that Philips screwdriver typical Chinese design uh, that you can either like it or or uh, not for sure it it will work on many uh, Philips 
Philips head uh, screws so that's pretty okay the play is like with all the other tools there in all directions then we come to the plier part which is basically the top part here together with that system what they use here uh, that compound uh, lever gear system that's something that you may like or you don't it's not like other pliers that move freely as you open the thing up it needs already quite a a force to open it up because of that system that uh, interlocks together so it's not going to move freely you simply open it all the way up like that so that the plier is open and uh, this this is not going to move uh, by itself so if you want to open the plier you need to do that and then you close it also the plier gonna gonna move itself all the way there it's not gonna be staying in front otherwise the gripping surface is pretty good uh, we have here the sheet metal uh, part like with early leathermans in the open position that is how that is so uh, if you want to use that a bit harder it's better to use uh, to wear gloves for use that the plier is grinded here on this side a bit with an angle so we have one side that is completely flat and the other side is grinded in an angle so we have like a needle nose uh, plier variation uh, the plier fits really well we see that on top here uh, there is no big gap or anything it's pretty well made uh, then we have the gripper surface and the wire cutter in the back uh, pretty much like the older style uh, leathermans uh, there are no inserts that you can change or uh, replace so that is how that is there soak nice deep in the quite likely cast pliers cast or mim so that compound leverage uh, feature you either like or you don't it's not gonna move by itself so so uh, that is how that is and uh, we have a black plastic insert that is riveted in that gives you a bit more grip uh, unfortunately only in the uh, position as the plier is closed here here we don't have much that if we use the plier uh, that is would be only for the smaller fingers and on top there is no no uh, plastic insert at all but as the plier is in the closed position that gives you a good good grip as the knife is open you can use that pretty pretty well uh, the plier in this mode the plier is not in the way that works pretty good like that is so it's pro and contra it's for sure a nice idea to try to combine a full size knife with a, a medium size uh, plier uh, worst problem so far are the scales hopefully number three finally gonna be in a non-cracked uh, condition as that arrives here and uh, then we see how well I gonna like that compound uh, leverage pliers or not the rest the, the tools uh, the small screwdriver is easy to be fixed and uh, the main blade too by resharpening and all so we see how well that goes uh, price wise uh, for as of uh, November 2015 Walmart had a deal on those uh, usually they are pretty pretty high price uh, it's not a, a cheap item there even more the problem is if if uh, the, the scales cracked or cracked or not so you need to make sure that that did not happen uh, Sog has a pretty good warranty I did test that out in the past too so that shouldn't be too much of a deal but uh, the problem is over the years 
and uh, especially if you wanna hard use that item and it's gonna crack and fall apart in the middle of the great outdoors that could be uh, more of a problem so that much about the uh, sock knives and tool uh, the multi-tool power duo